Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be taking a look at how you create a countdown timer with strictly verse code. This is based on a documentation that is, it's an actually an example custom countdown timer. It's in the verse documentation, but I have to tell you, this code is not complete and it was driving me absolutely crazy. And so I finally figured out what was wrong. So one of the things that's wrong is it tells you to, I'll show you the two things that I found wrong and then I'll show you the code that I, that I modified. I've done a tutorial just about this on the message and the localizes is missing the localizes specifier. That's a huge problem. You'll get an error with the, if you try to run this code. I did a tutorial explaining that you have to basically have the localizes specifier on here. So you need to put that in there and then here, interestingly, on one of these, and it's really the key of the whole thing, the timer is, it's really important because it's the key to the whole thing. This update, these two lines is really important and it relies on being able to get to that message type. Another problem, this, as we should know by now, this is a async function sleep. It's a time function. Anytime you use a time function, you need the suspend specifier. So this is missing the suspend specifier. So expletive deleted, you can't go off of this. It won't work. So let me show you the code that I got and I'll leave it on the screen. I'm not going to go over line by line, but I'll just show you what I've got. The reason that I'm interested in this is that if you can understand this countdown timer and how they built it with verse, you're really getting there towards understanding verse because it covers so many app functions of verse. So if you come in here and you look at, look how many things it covers. The if, the block, the loop, the spawn, the message, the class, the constructor, and the access specifiers. And here actually that's where this example falls down because it's missing the access. I didn't get into this adding more time part to it yet. I just wanted to get to this part right here. So this is where we're at right now. And this is cool because it's all in just verse code. So let's take a look at what I've done. So you create one verse device, just like you normally would. Make sure you have all your modules and namespaces. Like I said, I go overkill on this because nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm missing one. And it's just frustrating to have to keep typing them in. Create a creative device. We create a variable countdown timer. Our, our class reference to this. So this creates an instance of this class here. That's what it is. It's more than just a variable. Then we initialize this. I changed all the values to floats instead of integers. And I'll show you that. And this just basically makes sure that there's a, a player there. And we set the countdown timer, initialize it to the player. And then we make a call. Here, it's kind of important. We're calling our class to start the countdown. And then this, once we do that, this kind of takes over. And this, so this is a verse device. This up here is a verse class. And then else can't find player. I haven't received that message yet. So now we'll go in here. This is a verse class. So when you create this, so when you go into create a verse device, here, you'll come up here to the verse explorer and you'll right click and you'll be given an option when you create a class, you go create empty because you don't want a creative device and you'll just start out with a blank slate. So when I do the device, you go create here, give it a name, and then for a class, you go create empty. So there's that. Look at this code again. What did I do different? Well, this is how I ended up organizing it. This is our countdown timer class. It's a class. This is a class keyword and this with a colon creates a class called countdown timer. We just have a block of code. This is pretty standard that you'll see as far as creating a widget. You'll see this all over the internet of how to create that. That's nothing unusual. Here's all the variables that we create pretty much here. And here is the problem one. It needs to say remaining time text localize the specifier here they have it as a they had it as an integer but I changed it to a float value and I'll put a link to the tutorial that I did that explains this and then you just set this times you know 
time ticker. And now in here, there's just three functions or methods. There's a start countdown. There's all this. Make sure we have a player UI here. And if so, add the widget. This is a method with inside the... I don't know if it's in this. It's in one of these. It's either Fortnite.com UI or the temporary UI. I, I think it's in the temporary UI. This but this method here. And then we call this update UI, and that's right here. And all this can be, all of this is the exact same as the countdown example, but I, I changed it from int time to float to float. So this said int, and I changed it to float. And I don't know, I think that might be a mistake in the, in the code as well, in that example as well, I'll show you that I don't get this uppercase I. I don't know what that is. So here on the update UI, you see where it says INT and that's in capitals? I'm pretty sure this is a mistake. I don't believe that's supposed to be uppercase. I don't know what that is. Otherwise, this is a, a common type, but it's lowercase I. It's not uppercase I. So what I did in my modified code is I, I just dropped it as an int because I was getting this error up here and I didn't understand that it was missing the localizes specifier. What I did on the, this last, this update call, instead of capital I A N T, I capital I and then lowercase n t, I just changed it to a float value. So I changed it from int time to float time. But I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. I don't believe it should be an uppercase I there. So that's another thing that I changed. But this is the this is the complete code if you want to look at it. So that's the top uh, for the class, the first class, with the three methods: start countdown, update UI. And I didn't see an error here, but I saw an error here with that capital I. And then there was an error with no localizes here. And then there was an error. Oh, on run, run countdown. It was missing the suspend specifier. But other than that, this is exactly the same as that example. Okay, so if we come into our code here, go verse, build verse code, no errors. And then if I come over here, you'll see in, in the game, and there you see there's the timer going. I'm having it print out a string too just so I can verify what's going on. But anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I hope this saved you some time. So in short, the documentation, the countdown timer example in the documentation is missing a suspense specifier. It's missing a localized specifier, and it looks like the common type is misspelled. It should be a lowercase i, not a uppercase i. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.